This is my charging station and general workbench here in my garage come studio. And this is the Came TV dual V-mount battery charger power station and power strip three in one. Now, not long ago, I featured the Came TV Mini 50C and 99C V-mount batteries, which are still performing very well. But in this video, let's have a closer look at this new and improved power station with the 99C batteries. The power station doubles as a dual charger capable of charging those Came TV batteries or any number of other <laughs> V-mount batteries really, simultaneously or singly. But the power station can also be used as a household power strip without the need for a battery, offering 110 volt or 220 volt AC output, along with four USB type A ports, one USB type C PD 65 watt port, two DC 5521 12 volt barrel tip ports, and two DTAP ports. Unlike most similar products, this one features continuous operation. Uh, you can swap out the battery to enjoy uninterrupted power. As noted, this is Came TV's new and improved version of the power station. The previous one had an external power brick. This new unit has the inline power adapter integrated inside the unit. So we just have this um, one piece power cord. That's all we need. The type C output is now PD 65 watt, as I said, which supports multiple charging protocols, including PD 3.0, 65 watt, five volt, nine volt, 12, 15 volt, three amp, 20 volt, 3.5 amp, and a bunch of others that I'll drop here or there somewhere. <laughs> Since I don't know uh, what half of that means, other than the fact that it makes it convenient to charge devices such as laptops and mobile phones. So for instance, I've taken advantage of that to recharge my MacBook and iPhone. And as mentioned, we can use a battery backup. When plugged into household AC, it can output without a V-mount battery. I'll post more output specs here for the electrophiles who may be watching. Electrophiles? Is that, <laughs> is that a word? Evidently it is, but I don't think in the sense that I just tried to use it. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's all about electrons though. When it comes to safety protection for devices and batteries, the power station features pure sign wave output and safety settings such as over voltage and over current protection. Power station, it's so useful, not only as a charger, uh, and it charges batteries pretty fast, uh, three hours for two of these 99s, but also as a power source. I've been using it to run my video lights. This really extends the usage on location. For example, it'll run my 150 watt light at 100% for 45 minutes. Pretty impressive. To use the AC power, it's just a matter of turning on the battery output and the AC socket power. And as mentioned, battery power is hot swappable. Oh, and there's a little drawer <laughs> at the bottom here where you can store cables and whatnot. Cool little addition. Just so you know, um, like the V-mount batteries, Game TV asked me if I'd like to review this product in the run up to its release, April 11th, in exchange for this unit. That's the extent of the relationship, no other kind of sponsorship or perks despite the declaration YouTube requires on videos like this. My opinions are entirely my own. And in my opinion, this is a really useful thing to have around the studio. Um, it'll be with me on every location job from now on as well. And generally out in the field, as we'll see shortly. So I've been using this power station for about a month now, and it's lived up to its pre-release promises. Build quality is, I would say, robust, the housing is plastic, as are all similar units that I've seen, like this Strobe Pro unit, which incidentally has just a single four pin XLR output for 75 watt power delivery. If I were to pick flies, the fan is quite noisy. I'm not gonna be using it where it might interfere with audio recording. If the fan could be quietened down, that would definitely be an improvement. Having said that, the enclosure does stay absolutely cool to the touch during prolonged operation. And the AC input seems a little bit tight. Better tight, I guess, than too loose, uh, like one of my other chargers, which loses its cord at a touch. Maybe this will loosen up over time, but I think the fit could be improved. 
Other than that, kudos to Came TV for this handy, well-designed product. Out in the field, the power station is a portable generator. And this is going to be with us on every camping trip going forward, where we don't want to leave it all behind. <laughs> so perfect to keep me working <laughs> on these videos, even when I'm supposed to be taking a holiday. Charging up the laptop, iPad, camera, batteries, etc. Not to forget, there's an integrated flashlight, which comes in handy, uh, especially around here in bear country. So we got the bear spray, we're all prepared, and away we go. So this has a pretty good beam. The reach isn't fantastic. I'm not sure what the lumens or whatever candle power is, but it's certainly bright enough to light your way to the biffy. Oh no, it's locked, help. What am I gonna do now? Well, it's time to sign out here. Uh, we made sure that the food is stashed <laughs> out of reach of the critters. So I hope you found this uh, review useful. If you did, please do give it the old thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In the meantime, take care, cheers, good night, we'll see you later.